Hello, everyone. Uh, this demo is to showcase the workflow which we will be using for users testing of Twilio. So as you can see, I am in the staging environment with the default tenant. I already have the workflow set up in Studio Web, so I'm just going to go through and run the workflow. So as you can see, this the workflow will be here. Uh, that is the Twilio workflow, which we'll be using for the event, you know, for the user testing basically. So uh, some of the prerequisites which are needed before running this flow or uh, running this successfully is that we will be needing a event, the lead configured or created beforehand uh, before asking the users to run the workflow. How to do that? You can just go to the salesforce.com and the account which we'll be using for our workflows. So all I'm just going to create a lead before running the workflow. Okay. So here uh, I just go to the sales console and I'm just going to add a fresh lead. I'm giving my phone number. Name, share. I need to wipe out. Email, I'm giving my personal email. Yeah, whatever call or SMS you get, you'll be getting on this number. So make sure that you can use any of the numbers which you have, or you can ask the customer uh, to provide their number also. It depends on the user testing, which we are trying to achieve. And that's about it. We'll just save it. My lead is now ready and I will be running the workflow. But before I run, let me explain what exactly has happened. So now, uh, whenever the lead is created, this trigger will be run and you will get a new lead record using this. I'm using the get lead to retrieve the email address as well as the phone number of the lead, which just got created. Uh, then after that, I'm using OpenAI to generate the content for my SMS and the call. So I'm just giving a small command, a basic command that is write the content for an SMS and call to a new lead contact on behalf of the company UiPath. That's all, uh, nothing fancy. And then finally, we will be using two Twilio activities that is send message. In the send message, I am going to click this and I'm going to search for phone number. And as you can see, the phone number under get lead, which is the previous activity, you just have to select this. From, uh, uh, you will be selecting this, uh, the third item for uh, for sending the SMS. The body will contain the generate SMS content. That is the stop generated text. Okay, same goes for call. Uh, call also, we have the two, which will be phone. Uh, you just have to click. You will have to search for phone and you will be getting it. As you can see here, just click that. Uh, and once you have uh, got your phone number, uh, you can also again select the third item in the drop down. That is this for sending the uh, or for making the call. This again will be the same thing. Uh, go to the generate SMS, uh, the top generate text, click on this, and that's it. Your activities are now ready to run. If everything is configured correctly, we should be getting a success message. And I should also get a call uh, on my phone number. Great. It got completed successfully. And yes, as you can hear, I also got a call. Okay, so I will also be getting an SMS. Uh, uh, unfortunately, I will I cannot show that SMS uh, uh, over the demo. Uh, but uh, as you can see, this is the successful use case for sending an SMS campaign and a call, uh, making a call to the lead whenever it gets generated. Thank you. That's all for the user testing of Twilio.